Calculation is the second basic tool for solving equations. This means that you apply operations that change the entire equation, not just simplify it, change the entire equation. It is applied to both sides of the, exam of the equation, and some examples are basic operations, which are applied on both sides, clearing fractions, applying functions, and more. Let's review these three examples. So for basic operations, you must remember that they should always be applied to both sides of the equation. It can be addition and subtraction of one of one or any number. It can be multiplication or division by non-zero values. And you have to remember that sometimes if terms switch sides, they also switch signs. Okay, we'll review some examples. Let's say in this simple equation, x plus 7 equals 3, we need to subtract 7 from both sides. It is simple and intuitive, but it does change the entire equation because you subtract 7 from the left side and from the right side, and you get x plus 0 equals minus 4 or x equals minus 4. There, you got the solution. Another example is we'll see both uh, addition and division. We can say that we move 18 to the right side, right? It is the same as adding 18, but this time I say it a bit differently because some explanations may use this language and you need to be uh, familiar with it. So when you move something to the other side, you need to change signs. So minus 18 on the left side becomes plus 18 on the other side. You combine like terms and get 2x equals 14. Now we want to divide both sides by 2 in order to simplify it, and then we get x equals 7. So these were basic operation. Now let's see what it, does it mean to clear out fractions. This requires multiplications of both sides by all the denominators or the lowest common denominator known as the LCD or LCM. It is essential for readability and usually aids simplification. So let's look at this example. We have the equation x divided by 2 plus x divided by 3 equals 5 6. 6 is the LCD of 2, 3 and 6. This means that you can multiply both sides by 6. If 6 was not the LCD, then you would have been required to uh, multiply both sides by all denominators, means times times 3 times 6. Now we multiply by 6. So we have 6x divided by 2 plus 6x divided by 3 plus 6 times 5 divided by 6. We can simplify and clear out clear out fractions now because 6 divided by 2 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we are left with 3x plus 2x equals 5. If we combine like, like terms, we get 5x equals 5. And if we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals 1. Last example is applying functions. These are functions which are not basic operations, and again, they are applied on both sides. Examples are squaring uh, both sides, taking the square root of both sides, applying logarithms, and other more advanced functions, which we will not review. You must consider that sometimes there are consequences on this solution range. We'll see it in the second example. In the first example, we have an equation saying that the square root of x equals 2. So in order to cancel the square, we can, the square root, we can square both sides because square root to the power of 2 means that we get, we, we can remove the square root. So here we're left with x on the left side and 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, is 4. The solution range is not affected in this side because we only 
take square roots of positive numbers. In example two, we see a different case. Here we have x minus one to the power of two equals nine, and we want to get rid of the power of two, or this is square. So what we can do is to take the square root of both sides. The square root of to the power of two means that we can remove the square and we're left with x minus one. On the right side, the square root of nine is either plus three or minus three. We must take this uh, into account while offering the solutions because this means that the term inside the parentheses can be either plus three or minus three. How do we do it with that? We give a little markings to the variable and we turn it into x1 and x2. So variable x1 minus one equals plus three. So x1 equals plus three plus one because we change sides and change signs and it equals four. So x1 equals four. x2 minus one equals minus three. That means that x2 equals minus three plus one and that equals minus two. So we'll have two solutions. X one is four and X two is minus two. This completes the review of manipulation as a tool for solving equations.